What's the good word, y'all? It's your boy DKB here. So we actually got some pretty good news after not really receiving any updates about Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets and the contract negotiations that have been going on for about a month now. Mike Florio spoke to some sources and he announced on Pro Football Talk that the New York Jets, they're still working through the $107.6 million that would be due to Aaron Rodgers over the next two years. But... And what could be a stroke of luck for us, he's not asking for more uh, than that number. In fact, according to the sources, he may take a lower number than that, which will make a lot of sense. From his perspective, he's not coming here to be here for five, six, seven years. He's coming to try to finish out his NFL career uh, on a high note, right? Which would mean Super Bowl victories, add to his legacy, help a franchise out that has helped him feel reinvigorated and re-energized and uh, uh yeah again it's kind of like him just padding stats at the moment but the super bowls are what will put him over the top as being up there with one of the undisputed greats which the the biggest arguing factor for a lot of people is going to be his lack of playoff success and super bowl wins so when you think about the rumors that have been coming out, Dalvin Cook recently, uh, we had Ezekiel Elliott before Robert Sala shut that down. D. Hopkins before he claimed he wasn't interested in the New York Jets. We have Mike Evans out there. There's still a list of people that it seems like the New York Jets could be uh, potentially committed to to help put this offense over the top. So having Aaron Rodgers work out his contract if the numbers stay the same in a way that gives us a little bit of cap freedom, whether it's this year or next year, makes a lot of sense. But... If he decides to actually take a little bit of a pay cut to help out that much more, I think the money is less of an, an object as we think. And it's going to be more so what makes the most sense while, you know, not paying him pennies on the dollar. And I don't think that'll be too hard of an issue for us to actually work out with Aaron Rodgers, who seems very committed to trying to reinvigorate this franchise, given the life that is breathed into him uh, in this later stage of his career. So uh, I know a lot of people were sold on the 90 percent retired situation and, and, you know, that coming up quite a bit. Um, but to be honest, it's kind of a it's, it's really a, a backseat to this whole story in my mind now, because we've seen shades of him already um, trying to make moves beyond just this year uh, to help the franchise out uh, with you know him lobbying for Alan Lazard I'm sure coming here Randall Cobb is another aging guy so he probably won't stick around but you're getting the core of what will be a, a nice developmental house for these younger guys on this team Garrett Wilson Jeremy Rucker um, uh, uh, you know, Sauce Gardner and the defense even. Uh, we've heard the the reports about Aaron Rodgers um, on the Jets Flight 23 documentary. Matter of fact, how he's involved with the defense and, you know, even giving them tips and information about what he's seeing, what he's trying to attack, what may have opened up that they haven't necessarily planned or considered. So uh, we're getting it from all sides from Aaron Rodgers. Everything has been kind of a dream whirlwind at this moment since we drafted him, which I love. And hearing the fact that he may end up uh, taking a bit of a hit in the pocket to support us even further, um, I, I think is just, you know, icing on the top at this very moment. So we'll see ultimately what ends up happening. I know the way the contract got structured when we received him, um, he's only getting paid $1.2 million in this year, which opened up a huge uh, amount of space. So not only does uh, a lot of the player restructures that we did, uh, Jordan Whitehead, um, uh, I don't think we did C.J. Mosley's yet, um, but Lakin Tomlinson, there's another guy, C.J. Uzama, uh, those make a little bit more sense if we do end up trying to add another player or two during this uh, offseason before the regular season officially kicks off. I... Look, if you ask me, <laughs> uh, the running back room, I'm perfectly okay with. Yes, there could be improvements made, but I don't think uh, that's going to be what necessarily shifts the needle one way or the other. Something like a Mike Evans trade, I think, would be a lot more interesting. But I've also already spoken about um, how I feel that may eat into snap counts and trying to feed everybody in that whole situation. So um, sometimes less is more in this situation. But we'll see what the moves are. I trust in Joe Douglas. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are with Aaron Rodgers uh, potentially working out his contract to favor the New York Jets on uh, what we expect to be a Super Bowl run. And I'll catch you guys again. Peace.